Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about bringing back the disease to life through virtual reality as well as artificial intelligence. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K and today we're talking about something that's a bit more sensitive because you may have seen in various different news outlets that the South Korea Middle East Broadcasting Center on February 6 broadcasted a documentary about a mother called Jiang Ji Sung who was reunited with her daughter for the first time in three years using motion capture and virtual reality. Now I'm going to play a clip of the moment where they met. If you're not comfortable with this, please look away. What is To try to bring as much immersion and realism possible to this moment, what the production team did was, first of all, they modeled the scene based on the real park where the mother and the daughter used to go out together. The daughter unfortunately passed away through an incurable disease three years ago. So as you could tell, it's a really emotional moment for the mother, but also of course for other family members. But what the production crew did was they actually utilized haptic glove technology to really provide the mother a sense of realism, especially when she was hugging her or while stroking her hair, she could actually feel that. They used previous video clips to bring her voice back to life as well and how they mimicked the character was also based on the real girl from those videos using motion capture. Wait for this because now a computer genius who is renowned for regenerating hyper-realistic humans in the digital world called Mark Sagar actually developed a real baby modeled after his own daughter at 18 months through artificial intelligence. So Mark Sagar worked with James Cameron on movies like King Kong and The Avatar. The project called Baby X is a virtual creation of his daughter. She has rosy cheeks, warm eyes, a full head of blonde hair and a soft, sweet voice. Like a real baby, she can read, learn and interact with the person on the other side of the screen as she can see through the webcam and listen through the microphone. Now how Baby X can learn and associate words with images is that it has a virtual brain which is called a neural network and instead of neurons it has nodes and the more events Baby X is exposed to, the more nodes will grow within its brain and the more it can learn. So these new technologies really bring forward some really important questions, whether this is right or is this inevitable? I mean, we're talking about bringing back our loved ones and also possibly our pets one day back to life within the virtual world and not just recreating an animation based on previous videos or previous pictures or what have you not, but actual interaction with an artificial intelligent version of this being. The question is, are these kind of virtual reality experiences too soon for us to be exposed to? Now you're talking about artificial intelligence and merging those technologies together within augmented reality and, and other technologies. Is it too soon? Is it something that we should be afraid of? Is it something that we should be exposed to? What do you think? Leave a comment below. I'd really love to get to know your thoughts on this subject. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. Remember to like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I 
together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. In the next video, we're going to be talking about virtual chat, comparing it with the Quest and the Oculus Link. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.